Another 49ers player is slightly unhappy with their contract, according to Jeremy Fowler. Reports are that whispers are that Trent Williams could be the next player on the 49ers who wants a new deal. What do you think of this? Well, you know, first of all, good to see you, Grant. You know, I know we're going to have a spirited debate here today about other topics, but man, I knew this was coming because first, huge fan, but I think the players have realized that they're probably not going to win a chip with Kyle Levy. So might as well get paid, especially for the older vets. And when CMC got his extension with guaranteed money, why wouldn't Trent Williams, of all people, do the same? Considering how vital he is, we laugh and talk about Colton McGivitt, at least I do. But who would play left tackle if Trent Williams hold out? Jalen Moore. Sorry, I tried to say that with a straight face. Sorry, Jalen. So, yeah, I mean, I, I see this coming, and I mean, I'm not surprised. And then the Niners are going to have to somehow placate him if he does it, because there's no way this team goes anywhere uh, far or at all without Trent Williams, even if you say he's declined. It's interesting how, well, first of all, for people who don't understand, Trent Williams did sign a big extension with the 49ers a few years ago in 2021. He currently has zero guaranteed money left on it. He played last year with no guaranteed money. No guaranteed money this year, next year, the year after that. And he's scheduled to have huge cap numbers. So if he were to get hurt and miss some games, the Niners might decide, you know what? Maybe we'll cut you instead of paying you th instead of having you count for $34 million against our cap next year. So maybe, I mean, it's interesting. Like you set precedent with business deals last week. You gave Christian McCaffrey a whole new deal because he was, because he wanted one. Great, wonderful. Right. Now Trent wants one for the same reason. No guaranteed money, really freaking important. What are you going to do without him? And how do you say no to Trent when you just bent over backwards for Christian? <laughs> you, you have to say yes. And the only thing is you've got to say this. Don't make it hurt too much, Trent. So, you know, you have to, yeah, it's true. So you're going to have to give them some bonus, uh, you know, not just signing bonus, but uh, the other bonuses like option bonuses, just to make sure that all this money doesn't hit the cap now, but also doesn't hurt too much in the future. Because at some point, even though the cap keeps going up, it's going to come back and bite us like it did well this year with uh, Armstead. We took a little bit of a hit, although we waited to June 1st. But I mean, what else? I mean, realistically, the Niners need Trent Williams. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, just as much as they need CMC. So they're going to have to placate him. What's interesting about this whole offseason is how it seems like the culture of the team has changed a little bit. Like, Trent Williams didn't have any guaranteed money on his deal last year. I don't think Christian McCaffrey did either. But all of a sudden, this year, it's an issue. What changed? What? Well, you know, I may have just said it, but I really do believe it's the fact that they they went through the playoffs with the best team, the most all pros, nine, count them, nine all pros. They get to the Super Bowl, they don't know the rules, and they lose to a team with only three all pros. I think they all know, okay, <laughs> Kyle Levy lost the Super Bowl as, as the offensive coordinator with a huge yeah. lead. He lost... The Super Bowl here, his first one, 2020, with a lead as head coach, and he lost another one as head coach with a lead. So I think they know that it's going to be hard to win with him. And they're at the end of their careers. Why not get paid? Why not milk the Niners for more? I would. I mean, honestly, it's a business. And, and you know, these players put their lives, livelihood, and obviously bodies through hell. Mm -hmm. uh, through a, a football season, especially with all the playoff games. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's what's changed. They realize, okay, well, I might as well play for the money because playing for the ring is not happening with Kyle Levy. Okay. So uh, you're, uh, we're all trying to sort of, we agree that something is different about this off season. We agree about that. And we're going to call, so you're calling it the Kyle Levy effect. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm swayed, but I think there's a lot of factors at play. I think that is definitely one of them. The Kyle okay. Um, I think the Christian McCaffrey effect, the fact that the Niners just made this precedent, like 
Yeah, he's 27, but he's a running back. And you just gave him a two-year extension through through year 30, through him being 30. Can I not speak English? <laughs> through the year that he's 31 is what I was trying to say. That's old for a running back. So why shouldn't Trent Williams ask for a contract through the year that he's 40? I mean, offensive tackles have done it. So it's possible that there's a little bit of like a Christian McCaffrey fallout here. 